Happy New Year! Yay! It's John doing a video blog. Woo! Um, I've not been doing video blogs for a while, uh, as you may or may not have noticed. Hello, by the way, I'm John, the guy editor in chief of Nukezilla.com currently. Uh, I run the website, and these are video blogs which were meant to be weekly, um, where I basically explain what's going on. Um, and then they were weekly on Sundays, and then I moved to start doing lots of roller derby on Sundays, and so I stopped doing the video blog. So going forwards, these video blogs are going to be probably on some other day, maybe Monday, and then it's like, here's the week going forwards, or perhaps Friday, where it's, here's what happened this week, here's what we broke. I think Monday is more positive, so I might stick with that. Um, I have got lovely coffee. Um, yeah, oh, I have something to show you. Mm. I will talk about the thing called the Nukezilla Council soon, don't worry. But, check out my new roller derby helmet. Isn't that just the prettiest helmet you've ever seen? Okay, that's all. This is this is this is a good helmet. Clancy is still here, uh, growing wonderfully. You'll be happy to know, taken care of through these cold winter months. Um, yeah, I think that's that's important things done. Helmet Clancy, good. So Nukezilla, as you know it, is run by there is a collective of staff writers, about thirty, maybe ten, fifteen are fairly active. Everyone else is just quite passive. Um, and then there's me sort of in charge making all the decisions. Now, that's fine, but last, late last year we moved so that I am a full-time employee of Nukezilla. Yay, go me! Though, I'm, I'm investing in paying myself. So, it's sort of... Yeah, anyway, don't think about it. Um, but I'm working full-time on Nukezilla, as in Monday to Friday. Which is another reason why I didn't want to do the video blogs on Sunday, because... Now that this is my Monday to Friday job, like we are currently at like, it's two in the afternoon, like this is my after lunch job, this was on my to-do list for today. Ha, <laughs> you're my work. Yeah, that's right, I'm, I'm being paid to do this. I could just sit here and my boss isn't going to complain. Though, that ties in quite nicely and brings me back to a problem I found is that when I am working for myself, and I am my own boss, and I am paying me, it's very hard to, to, to do work. It's very, very easy to just go, ah, I'll not bother, and then, like, my boss isn't going to complain. So, I'm, and to make the site better, but, I mean, that was, like, this, the spark of idea behind this, is I'm not going to react very well to myself being in charge, and I don't feel any great sense of, um... I'm glad I'm not a writer for a living, because I can't think of any words. I've got no real obligation to myself. However, I will get feelings of obligation if there was a collective of people who I was working for. Not the staff writers, because they're technically still working for me, and if I don't do something, they're not going to really complain at me. So that's why I'm going to establish the Nukezilla Council. I don't think very many other websites do this. If they do, please send me links, because I want to talk to them. Essentially... These are, there will be a set of positions, there will be a chair, well, and these positions are project managers, so we have a reviews project manager, or reviews editor, kind of, we have a news project manager, um, we have an industry liaison project manager, who's essentially our PR person, but for talking to PR people, and who PR people talk to, rather than going straight to the editor-in-chief and that falling down, they come in through this, because, you know, whatever, that's fine, that's how we do it. Um, and then there's going to be a community project manager who will be elected from the community. Uh, you guys can start worrying about things like that. I'm kind of leaving a lot of this up to people. And yeah, there's a chair who is essentially the Nukezilla Council project manager, who is me currently, and my role there is to establish the Nukezilla Council. And so far on the council, there's me, um, there's Hans, who is our news project manager, and yesterday we had our first meeting of 2012, um, where Brett became our reviews project manager and Dan became our um, industry liaison project manager. Now, there's like, yeah, so these, these roles now exist and the chair is kind of in charge, but everyone gets essentially one vote in the council and we're going to have meetings every fortnight um, where we decide on things, action points, 
decisions. Um, and this is where previously things like the Leo the Shooty video, Leo the Shooty Gamer video came about from one of these um, meetings. And at that point, there was just me and Hans on the council. And we thought the video would be all right. And it turns out that maybe that was a was an ill thought out decision. Um, but don't worry, we, we've had lengthy discussions inside. Um, I mean, because, yeah, basically, video goes up, bit offensive, everyone goes, what the fuck? And don't worry, we are handling this. Um, it'll be okay. We, yeah. Gonna take, take this, that. Good. Got that out of the way. Um, so yeah, so we're now, because of that, we've now changed the way we make decisions. And we're moving fast and we're making mistakes um, and we're learning from them, which is quite exciting. So to give you a little insight into how the council works, council has a meeting. I say, hey, wouldn't it be great if the website was pink? Hey. And then we talk amongst the, the council at this meeting. And like Brett says, well, reviews should be yellow and... Uh, Dan says, well, PR people will think that cats are nice. And then we all come together and then we decide that pink and green should be the new colour scheme. Um, after having all the project managers essentially work together, we then create what's called a proposal. And then that gets sent out to all of the staff. And then the staff have essentially a week to go... Um, Okay, I like this. Maybe what about this? What about this? And then the proposal kind of gets tweaked and tweaked and tweaked. And if someone is really unhappy with it or thinks that someone else might be really unhappy with it, they can call a vote. And so say, I don't know, Pete is like, I, someone, maybe me, maybe someone else is going to be really unhappy with it. I propose like a quick vote and we vote by consensus. And if one person on staff blocks it, then it goes back to the council to work out what to do. Like, did they block it for a very good reason? Um, if they did, we can just scrap the proposal. Do we want to change the proposal? Do we want to, um, like, just keep pushing forwards? And I guess we technically have the ability to go, well, we're going to ignore the fact that you blocked this and go ahead, but we wouldn't do that. And so it's, it's a very personal thing and personable. It's a nice thing, which, when nice people work together, this kind of works. Um, and yeah, there will be community involvement because there will be a community project manager. And I guess someone should start a forum thread about how you would like to sort of elect this position or choose this position. Um, all the project manager slots are going to, they're not going to last forever. They're only for a finite amount of time. Um, I suggest four months. If you guys would like to do something different, if you want like a monthly or if you want a six monthly annual, then um, I think the, the community project manager is essentially up to you. And community project manager is essentially your direct voice into the decision making process. Um, so it's still very much work in progress. And that's essentially the nuclear council. Instead of me being in charge, um, I'm currently in charge of, well, everything still. But we're setting up the council. And then once the council is established, we will internally have some kind of voting or whatnot. And then I will step down as chair. I may just go to be systems project manager, where I just, like, keep the stuff going. And then I'll just be a council member. I'll have one vote like everyone else. And the site, Nukezilla, as an entity will have nobody in charge. And if I register it in a very clever as like a co-op business where like council members are all the entities or something very clever, then I will no longer own it and it will essentially own itself and just be this awesome creature. And we're doing things like we've got ethics policies, we've got lots of other stuff happening. Um, but I'll keep you more informed of that as and when it happens. So the Nuclear Council is happening. This is run on for like nine minutes. Uh, there is an audio log of the um, meeting, but we're keeping those private for now just because it's easier and we can get stuff done and we haven't completely thought it through yet. Um, and it's better to be more private than less. Anyway, before this hits 10 minutes, I'm going to go. What are you up to at the moment and what do you think of the Nukes of the Council? Happy New Year.